Hey everybody, we are Teaching Tilt Brush. And this episode of Teaching Tilt Brush, we're gonna be using the Poly Library. The Poly Library is a great way not only to get your own sketches out to the world, but we can get models and objects into our sketches to work with, and also remix sketches, actually share them with other people. Now this is going to involve the internet, and it's in fact gonna be found at Poly, dot google dot com now this is a website and you can log in if you already have a gmail account type of thing you can log in using that any account you set up using your headset so if you're using oculus quest type of thing and you've got an account with your headset you can use that account here as well in our case, since we're streaming through Shameless Mayhem, we actually have an account set up as Shameless Mayhem through this system. Now this system, not only does it let you share sketches, but we're also going to get into bringing in objects and stuff like that. We did this a little bit in one of our other lessons. So let me get this out of the way. And we're going to start looking at Polly. Now Polly itself is a website. So you will need to take off your headset and go on the internet. And when you log on to that website, it's going to look something like this. See, ideally, if you can log in with your own account, it'll actually connect to the account that your headset uses. And this website has all sorts of things. The main things it has are sketches, models, and scenes. Scenes are for a 360 video type of thing where you can put yourself into any environment, a landscape type of thing. Not really tilt brush. However, the models and the sketches are for tilt brush. When you log in and it looks like this, it's going to have a list of models and uh, sketches that you can actually scroll up and down through. Now this list you can specify if you want just sketches or just models, but in this case, we're looking at all three. As you click on each one, it will put that into its own screen. Likewise, you can search by name or by item, that type of thing, or even by artist. These previews are actual interactive 3D tilt brush environments. So you can actually zoom and rotate, that type of thing. These are just screenshots, so they're not going to be mobile. But when you visit on your, on your internet browser, you can actually explore the sketch a little bit to decide if it's one you want to play with. Down here is a little heart to like this sketch. When you like this sketch on Poly, it will become available when you log back into Tilt Brush itself. As long as you're logged into Poly, when you activate Tilt Brush, we're going to have ways to access these sketches directly in the system. Same with the models and things like that. You can like any pieces that are your favorites, so we have easy access to them here in Tilt Brush itself. So these are the main systems. Now, if you want to, it's got the standard social media share with other people. If it is your sketch that you put up there using their upload, you can even change the name, change the description, alter how people are going to see your sketch as a way to promote it. Or if you want to make a series, you can tie them together down here, that type of thing. By default, these sketches allow remixing or basically bringing into Tilt Brush and painting some more into it, taking over that painting as your own. You don't have to if you just want to make it read only, essentially you can, but really the best part of Poly is to share with other people. There are some great artists out there and it's a lot of fun to work with other people to bring one particular vision out. So for example, I've gone into Poly and I found a Star Wars picture that a lot of people have been remixing. When I clicked on its little heart to like it, now when I go into Tilt Brush, the sketches, the actual icon in the center of my controller, let's see if I can get a better visual of it here, the little book, the sketches, that's actually going to bring in under heart any of them that you checked in. You can now click and it will actually load that sketch into Tilt Brush. So you can see in this case it's bringing in a sketch. Now you can sit here and watch it get painted in real time, or you can hold down your triggers 
and it will actually load in the entire sketch at once and bring the whole thing into play when it finishes loading. And here we are in this somebody else's sketch. Now, by allowing it to remix, you're allowing other people to do it. If you use it in videos, things like this, it is proper to give them credit. So in the credits and comments below, you should mention whose sketch you started from. And then if you want, you can put it back on the internet, onto Polly, and let other people play with it too. So that's getting into using, oops, let me get back into my white environment, just so we don't have clutter in the background. So that's using Polly to get sketches, to get models, to get things into your uh, sketch, into your tilt brush to play with. Find the ones you like and click on their heart and they will automatically be added to your tilt brush when you log in. Now make sure you do log into your profile in tilt brush as well. It does need to make sure. That way different people can use the same computer but not have to worry about overlapping the same pictures, that type of thing. So I can go into my sketches, under heart, find that Star Wars one I liked and load that one in. This one actually had many artists collaborating. Now, with sketches on the Oculus Quest, specifically for you Quest users, whoops. So while that's loading, Quest users, some of these sketches get very, very big. And the Quest has limited capability compared to a big PC. When you're looking at sketches in your quest, it will tell you if that sketch is going to be a little too big. It will give you a memory warning if there are too many pieces in that sketch. So here is a sketch other people have collaborated on, and now I can actually go in, grab my own tools, and add my own pieces if I really want to. Or I can just wander around and explore the sketch, see there's you know, writing, stuff like that, see what stuff is in here that I can actually play with. So sharing sketches through Poly is a great way to get stuff out there, to experience what other artists are doing, and to share your work with other people. So if I've got a sketch that I finished that I really like, on our controller, there should be a cloud icon called Upload. That'll automatically put your current sketch onto the system. Likewise, it's got an icon of a floppy disk, that ancient extinct species of floppy disk, that allows you to save this current set sketch to your system. PC users, in your documents, is a folder called Tilt Brush. And in there, it's got a media library for images and sketches and things like that. That's where it saves it. Oculus Quest users, depending on your capabilities, whether you have a 64 gig or a 128 gig, that's going to determine how much storage space you got. So it may uh, have a limited space for sketches. But by uploading them, you're storing them on Poly, so you don't need to save them locally. And then you just like them, and next time you log in, you can pull them down from Poly and use them on your system. But do be aware of that memory warning for the Quest users. A large sketch may give Quests a little bit of problem if it loads in too many pieces. So that's using Poly for entire sketches. Another part of Poly is models. On the, quest, on the Tilt Brush controller, we've got a section for, looks like a little uh, dodecahedron, not dodecahedron, uh, a 20 sided. Uh, it's called the Poly Library, and it brings up its own little window. In this window, the top section, any pieces you have created, as far as 3D models and things go, will show up in this list. The star. These are ones being pulled from Google. These are considered ones with more favorites, more likes, that type of thing. And you'll notice we've got little arrows at the bottom to scroll through. And these are just little icons, little objects, fully 3D objects. So I could find things like a race car, and somebody created this as a model. I can use my tools to make it bigger, make it smaller, so I can actually get in, drive around, that type of thing. But it is a fully rendered model as one piece. So if I move it, I just need to select it once. If I want to get rid of it, I can just throw it away. But these models are how we can bring in objects, bring in pieces, without having to draw it from scratch ourselves. 
so I can build up a picture using these models and then fill in with my paintbrush to connect it all drawn into one big picture. People who create 3D models of their own using programs like Unity and Blender, you can actually save your models to Poly for other people to use. Likewise, if you do creations using the Google Blocks tool, you can save those pieces for other people to play with. You can see most of these pieces, it's just made up of a series of smaller objects. So it wasn't one big barrel, but it's a cylinder with stripes painted, that type of thing. So these pieces we can bring in, let's get this out of the way, I'll leave them in the background there, but we can bring in these types of pieces using poly. Just like with sketches, if you use the little heart icon, it will create just a series of your favorite pieces. So whenever you need a particular piece, you can bring it in, set it in wherever you want, and start building up a scene out of these pre-made pieces. This is using the Poly Library for sketches or models. This will work on any version of Tilt Brush. The only restrictions for the quest is too many pieces start to overload your system. I can go ahead and clear this back out. So this is on your controller under the utilities. The normal guides are for your primitive shapes, but the 20-sided die, the poly library, whether you're bringing in your own models, your favorite models, or just browsing through other people's models, this really helps you expand your picture very quickly. Rather than painting each piece from scratch, we can grab pre-made parts and start from there. Make sure that you do log on with the browser first. So Quest users, you may need to use your mobile device to log in and set up your Poly account so that your Tilt Brush can then connect to that profile. PC users, with your Tilt Brush going even, you can fire up a browser and log in there and your Tilt Brush should pick that up. You can then use the icon on the bottom of the controller to connect that Tilt Brush to that account. So different tilt brush users can keep track of their own pieces separately. So this lesson is about using the poly library to make your sketches shareable, to bring in pieces into your tilt brush, and to generally get the outside world involved so you can actually collaborate with other artists to make your final piece. I hope this was a helpful uh, episode for you guys. There's a lot out there. You can really spend a lot of time playing on Poly, finding pieces. Anybody with the same hobbies as you, same interests as you, have things out there. So there are already models for Gundam robots and Doctor Who and stuff like that. So feel free to use those as starting points. I look forward to seeing what you guys do. Have a lot of fun. Thanks for joining me this week for Teaching Tilt Brush.